What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another edition of Cars Tech. In this video, we're gonna be taking a look at the 2021 Chevy Blazer. So the Blazer is one of my favorite vehicles that I've ever driven in, sat in, or even looked at. This thing is beautiful. It's a beast. It's got some awesome accents. You guys probably know this, but I absolutely love red and black. It's my favorite color combination. So anything that's red and black or has accents like that, I'm usually a big fan of. But this is just a really nice looking cabin, nice looking exterior, really sweet car all the way around. And I would definitely get one if it weren't for the $45,000 price tag. <laughs> but we're not here to talk about the price or really the look of the vehicle at all. We talk about technology on this channel, so that is what we are going to be talking about. There's a bunch of different technology that makes this thing really awesome, from the surround vision camera system to the uh, CarPlay system to the rear view mirror and the rear lift gate. We're gonna talk about all that in this video, so let's get into it. So we'll start first and foremost with the screens in this thing. You have two beautiful, well, we'll say three beautiful screens in this vehicle. Two main ones, that is your 4.2 inch digital cluster right here. This gives you all kinds of vehicle information, not only just your speed gauges, but some navigation features, audio features, compass, uh, oil life, tire pressure, all that kind of stuff. It's interesting enough. You know, it's definitely cool, better to have that in my opinion than analog gauges, but you do have those as well if you do want them. But I absolutely love having a digital screen right there. But you also have an eight inch infotainment screen. Now this is Chevy's infotainment three. So this is a very modern updated system, works extremely well. It's very clean, very simple, easy to use, user friendly, all that kind of good stuff. It's got audio, phone, Bluetooth, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, which are wireless, which is awesome. Built-in navigation, 4G LTE Wi-Fi. It's got different settings for, uh, or different user profiles. It's got your climate controls all on the screen. It's an awesome, awesome system. And it houses the two things that we're gonna talk about here, which are the surround vision camera system and the wireless Apple CarPlay. So let's start with the CarPlay system. So my complaint always was, maybe complaint is not the right word, but my hesitation with wireless CarPlay was always that CarPlay relies so much on your phone's communication with the system to provide the data that allows CarPlay to work because it runs solely off of your phone, not off of your car. Your car just kind of mirrors it more or less. So because you were transmitting so much data, you're draining power when you're doing that. So having it plugged in to use CarPlay was always the correct solution for me because it would charge your battery while transferring that data and putting less stress on your phone. But now with the introduction of wireless CarPlay, wireless charging and kind of how ubiquitous that's become, it, you kind of have to have a solution for that. So the solution is giving us wireless CarPlay, but also having a wireless charging pad to still be able to charge that phone while it's transmitting data. So that's what you've got here. You've got wireless Apple CarPlay and a Qi enabled wireless charging pad right underneath. So you can pop your phone in there and have it automatically uh, connect to CarPlay here wirelessly. So to set this up, you actually have to connect your phone first. You can either do this with a physical cord or you can do it via Bluetooth. So if we go ahead and hit CarPlay, hit connect to phone, it's gonna say, hey, connect your phone via Bluetooth. So I'm gonna go to my Bluetooth settings. We're gonna connect to my Chevrolet here under the Bluetooth options. So hit pair, hit pair and then it's gonna ask if you wanna to continue to use CarPlay and give consent, and you have to actually check that on your phone as well to use CarPlay wirelessly. And again, you can see there's no wires here, but here we are with CarPlay, and it looks so good on this huge eight inch screen. I absolutely love it. The colors are great, everything's great. And again, because it is using your data now on your phone, your battery is going to drain, so I just go ahead and pop it on that Qi-enabled wireless charging pad and you're good to go. So that is wireless CarPlay, an absolutely awesome feature here in the Chevy Blazer. But let's go ahead and take a look at the second of the two things I wanted to look at on this screen, and that is the surround vision camera system. So we'll go to the camera menu and boom, we are given access to more camera angles than you'll ever need when driving your car. Not only is this great for trailering, if you do want to tow, uh, you know, a trailer or another, you know, um, camper or something like that, something a little bit heavier, you do have 4,500 pounds of towing capacity here on the Blazer uh, on the all wheel drive version. And you can get it as an option on the V6 3.6 liter. If you add on the additional trailering option for 2021, you'll take it from 1,500 to 4,500 pounds of towing capacity 
on the front wheel drive version. But here on the all wheel drive version, you already have that towing capacity. So if you do want to do trailering, it's great because you can do like a straight down view of the trailering hitch so you can line up things very easily. But it also works very well if you're trying to park in a tight parking spot or navigate uh, in some kind of uh, difficult parking lot, all kinds of things like that where you need to avoid obstacles to the best of your ability. It's really good for that. So how it works is it uses the cameras that are found around the car. There's one in the front, one in the back, and one on either side mirror that give you this overhead view, 360 degrees around your vehicle. Uh, so you can see what's around you. You also kind of have these adaptive lines that'll show you depending on which way you turn the wheel, kind of which way it's turning. And then you can switch through these different views just by clicking the different options. So you can kind of get a split screen view where you can see like your 360 view and then you can see like both tires or you can see like your rear camera. And then you can push the different options here to switch between whether you wanna see the front view cameras or the rear view cameras. And then you kind of do the same kind of thing where you can kind of click through the different options to see. So absolutely awesome camera system there. I really love having that flexibility and being able to switch through all those different camera angles and really see kind of what's around your vehicle. I would probably find myself mainly using the rear camera and the front cameras just in case I didn't wanna hit you know, a cart that may be in front of a tight parking spot I'm trying to park in, something like that. That's, that's a good application I can see for it, but it's just nice to have that kind of functionality. And it definitely works with all your safety systems, kind of keep you and your vehicle from any kind of harm's way. So the last thing I wanna talk about is the rear view mirror camera. Now you guys may be familiar with what this is, but next to the rear, the standard rear camera in the back, there's an additional wide angle lens and I'll show it on screen here so you can see, but that additional wide angle lens actually works with your car system to give your rear view mirror here some extra functionality. So you can use it as a standard rear view mirror with a reflective surface. You can see, you know, what's, you know, in front or behind, just like a normal mirror would. Uh, but if you flick this little switch right here on the back, it now becomes that display for that camera in the back. So let's uh, go hop out and see. So as you can see, it is a direct view of what's in the back of your vehicle. Super simple. You can adjust the parameters a little bit. So if you want to move the, you know, the view up or down or tilt it a little bit or zoom it in and out, you can do all that kind of stuff, turn the brightness up and down, things like that. I'll say this, as someone who doesn't have a rear view mirror camera, it's a little hard to get used to because it's much more zoomed in than your standard rear view mirror would be. You know, like if a car's behind you and it's this close to the camera, the vehicle in the mirror looks right there. Whereas if you were to switch it back to the mirror view, you would know that the car's like way back there. So that's the only thing that's kind of a little bit challenging to get used to, but I think in the long run, it's super helpful. For example, if you are on a long road trip and you've got that back trunk, which is plenty spacious, you've got that thing filled to the brim with suitcases or moving boxes if you're moving, things like that, and you wanna look back there or look through your rear view mirror and you can't see because there's people's heads in the way, there's boxes in the way, there's suitcases in the way, no problem at all. Boom, switch right to that rear view mirror camera and you see directly what's behind your vehicle regardless of the boxes or children's heads or suitcases that may be in your way. So those are some of the coolest tech features and systems here on the 2021 Chevy Blazer. Now, if you guys wanna watch a full review of this vehicle where we talk about all the design features and what's uh, what engine it has inside and out, all that kind of stuff, head over and check out Bachman Auto Group's channel. I did a full review of this vehicle over there. I'll have it linked above and in the description. And if you're interested and you're in the uh, Kentuckiana area, Louisville, uh, Lexington, you know, Southern Indiana, any of those places, and you're interested in a Chevy Blazer, head on over to Bachman Auto Group off of Hurstbourne Parkway. They have all kinds of Chevy vehicles, anything you could need, including a Blazer just like this one. So if you're in the area and you need a vehicle, head over there, check it out. If you just wanna watch a review, head over to the Bachman Auto Group channel, check it out, and uh, you'll be able to watch this review of the Blazer and plenty more. So thanks so much for watching, guys. Drop a like on the video if you loved it. Tell me in the comments down below, what is your favorite tech feature of the 2021 Blazer here? Mine probably is the wireless car play. I think that's such an awesome feature, especially that you have a wireless charging pad as well. But let's have a conversation about it down in the comments. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button to be among the first to see every single new video the second I hit publish. We'll see you in the next one.